Hi friends, this is Sagar from Infinity Classes. Today we are going to study about computer reference model. So these are the different reference model in which two of them are the most important. This is the OSI model and another is the TCP IP model. So this is used nowadays, but that is this one is not that much in use, but this will actually help in realizing what happens in a network. So we are going to study about the basics of OSI model. So OSI stands for Open System Interconnection and it has seven layers. So this is a layered architecture. So depending upon the sender or receiver, the layers get altered. Okay. So now the first layer is the application layer. So the application layer actually amounts to different browsers or applications related to networks like Google Chrome or Safari or Mozilla Firefox. This comes in the application layer. Okay. Next, next comes the presentation layer. Presentation layer deals with the data encoding, data uh, encryption and all those parts which actually saves a network from being hacked. So for instance like uh, you are representing 0, 1, 1 by A. So this is your secret code that you are representing 0, 1, 1, 1 by A. So this is the importance of presentation layer. Next comes the session layer. So session layer as we know in computer session means when two computer connect with each other or communicate with each other that is called a session. So this also is the same for this that when two devices communicates with each other is called session layer. Now the fourth layer is deals with the package moving or the data moving. So transport layer is the layer which deals with the transport of data. So now First of all, we are going to now go to data link layer in which the data format is in the form of frames. Here in network layer, it is in the form of packets. And this transport layer actually deals with the paths or routes of the packets as how they will move in a network so as to facil facilitate the uh, optimization problem which we have in network. So this deals with the roots of packets. Now the network layer deals with packets, it just what it does is connect some frames and name it as a packet. So what it helps is chunking of data that is uh, breaking down of bigger data into different chunks and then sending it over into the network and then different protocols are there for just connecting them or the ordering of them that we will study later. Now we are going to into data link layer. This, this can be termed as the most important layer because it deals with error detection and checking that is the most important function of this layer that it does what it does is it detects the error and checks the error for that we will use different uh, methods like parity checking Huffman coding and different other formats are there which we will study in different videos and the most important part is it sends data in the form of frames so what are frames so frames can be said as collection of bits so therefore we will study about error because suppose there is a data 1011 so there can be a error while sending this as this may get transformed and this may get transformed too suppose two bits get transformed so there are different types of error which we will see single bit error multi bit error and in multi bit error there is a special type that is called a bust error that is if the error are happening together or it can also happen in this way like this is not altered but this may get altered so that is called multi bit now the next layer is the physical layer physical layer deals with the connection of different nodes so that deals with guided media and unguided media so the guided media is like coaxial cable optical fiber twisted pair cable and all those medias which connects computer directly through wired media that may be metallic media or in case of optical fibers we see that it happens with the help of light and the unguided media that is waves radio waves microwaves infrared waves that we see in our remote and we 
used switch channels we used infrared we used telephone wires telephone wires for that is the unguided and for the guided one we used telephone communication like different uh, over a cellular network so that is the wireless network thanks for watching our videos if you like it then like our videos subscribe to our channel share to your friends and if you have any queries comment down below